Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. with me here. a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. It's not like I need a manual. But I'm really glad it's here. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Not helping. It's like a deadly electric glove. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap.
That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Back from whence you came. For all you Sunday Funday listeners out there, live in Seder Studios, Skip Matthews, lead singer of Pisshead, one of the Bay's hottest new bands. Say hi to the fans, Skip. Pretty loose. How can I tighten? Hi, fans. Now, Skip, I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Uh, th that's that's true. Keeping the kitties safe by day and melting their faces off by night. That the plan, Skip? Uh, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from Pisshead. And if you haven't heard these guys yet, what I want you to do is crank <laughs> that stereo up Much as far as it goes. And if anyone complains, what do you tell them, Skip? Uh, Pisshead rules? Nailed it. I should have seen you coming through my periphery. So now I find some comfort in you, agony. I'm full of melancholy, content to eat despair. I try to put you out, but it's no use. You're always there. This thing is going to the fuck up. Maybe. Sick. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you.
Junkyard Queen. Where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass, too. Interesting choice in shirt, too. Thought you'd like it. It involves fire. Hey. Not sure if you saw. But someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it? That chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman? This is between us and Frank. It's none of your fucking business. Problem is, you made it my business, and your tough girl shit is starting to get on my nerves. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro- Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? So? We don't have anything to do with him. 
Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah! Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. I, I even saw your file saying Sarah was connected to Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? N nothing of course. Is that 
how it became violent. When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I, I called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it, but then he said something that pissed Rachel off, and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him, and then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph, how's Drew? <sighs> Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. <sighs> I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay, sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. 